guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back for a brand new video so for today's video i'm bringing you guys a spend a few days with me vlog i haven't done a proper vlog in a while so i thought i'd do one um we spent a couple of days together we went to london we just had like a normal homey day as well i'm just jumping in at the start because i didn't actually like intro the vlog properly and i always feel rude when i do that like don't say a proper hello to you guys um but because i literally had to leave the house at half six in the morning i was like my brain's just not braining right now i had to be quite quiet because obviously oak was still asleep um but yeah i just wanted to come in intro the vlog properly and i thought this would be like the perfect time to throw in a little mini haul as well so basically i'm trying to get my life back on track before i went on holiday i was so good i was in such a good routine doing my daily workouts going to pilates every week and ever since i got back that has not happened so i feel like that is a good enough reason to treat yourself to some new like active wear gym wear i'm going to be showing you guys some new bits that i picked up from my protein so a massive thank you to my protein for working with me on the start of the vlog when you see some of these bits it's gonna get you so excited for spring so i'm gonna start with the little outfit that i'm wearing i'm obsessed with this so this is something that you can wear obviously day to day you can wear it to the gym you can wear it doing a food shop i'm about to walk the dogs i'm gonna wear it for that i'm gonna show you what i'm wearing this isn't actually a matching set it's just like a top and joggers paired together but I'm obsessed with this top. How nice is the fit of it? So this top is part of the power collection from My Protein. I just think it's the most flattering fit. But you know what? This is like business in the front part in the back kind of vibes. The material of it is so nice and thick. If you do wear this like to the gym and to exercise, you're not going to get too hot because look at the back. It is a backless little gym top. How cute is this? We've got the little My Protein logo at the back there as well, the new one. I love how subtle it is. And of course, we've got thumb holes. I feel like thumb holes makes the top so much more comfy. I do have matching leggings to this, which I'll show you in a sec. But I want to talk you for the joggers first. These joggers are from the Basics collection on My Protein. They're so thick, such nice quality. They've got an elasticated waistband with a drawstring, which is unreal. The logo is just embroidered there. Again, very subtle, which I like. I don't know how well you can see me back here. But they are a straight leg and they've also got a little split at the bottom as well, which I think is so nice. These are like ultimate comfy joggers, perfect for day-to-day -day life. If you're a jogger wearer to the gym, you can do that. This is just like my ideal comfy day-to-day -day outfit, but let me show you the other bits that I've got. So these are the matching leggings to the top at the start, and then we've also got a sports bra as well. Again, these are from the Power Collection. This is not my perfect Pilates outfit because you get a bit hot in Pilates, but again, this top has got an open back so you're not going to get too hot. It crosses over as well, which I think is really cute. And the branding's just in the middle again, the same as the other top. It's just like a little basic, but unreal. The support's really nice as well. And then I've got on the matching leggings, which just has the little logo there. They're like a mid-rise, which I love. And then they've got secret little pockets here as well, which is always handy. The AirPods case in there, your phone, anything. But I love an all-black gym outfit like this. Just think it's unreal. And then I'm not going to lie, this is probably my favourite piece out of the whole haul, because look at this, how unreal. This is from the Studio Collection, which means it's perfect for like yoga, Pilates, anything like that. So it's just this little unitard, and I think it's so cute. I love a unitard, whether that's like for working out or just day-to-day -day life. Please ignore the fact you can see my pants. I need to put on some seamless underwear. I'm obsessed with the colour of it. It's like a really soft material. It does have like mesh cutouts as well, so you're not going to get too hot while you're wearing it. The straps at the back are adjustable as well. And the logo on this one is just in like a cream silicone there. So it's very, very subtle again. I feel like this just does bits for your body. Like, I look snatched. And this is definitely going to be something that I'm going to be wearing to Pilates during like the spring summertime. That's all the new bits that I've picked up from my protein recently. I will leave everything linked down below for you guys in case you want to go check it out. And if you do, you can use the code Shannon for 10% off. I'll leave it all on the screen anyway. Yeah, I'm just obsessed with everything that I got. And like, I know I'm going to be wearing all these to death. I'm going to finally get myself back into my Pilates, back into my routine. But yeah. Right, let's get into the vlog. I hope you enjoy. If you do, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get into the video. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of in a rush. I need to leave the house in literally six minutes. So I'm just quickly getting ready. The time right now is 6.23 in the morning, if you can see that. I'm hoping these heatless curls look good, please. Um, but yeah, I'm off to London today. I've got an event with Garnier. Me and Grace are doing a little shopping trip. Going for some lunch because we haven't seen each other for ages. So that's what we're going to do today. Oh, I think it's a good heat this cold day. Look at that. I love that. I think I'm just going to quickly straighten these bits though. Or do I? I don't think I need to actually, do I? Well, maybe this but I do wait. I'm bringing all my makeup in my bag because I'm not doing it at 6 o'clock in the morning. That can wait. I'm going to do that on the train. So I'm getting into London for 10. Look at these flicky bits of hair. Definitely need to straighten those, don't I? Yeah, it's just going to be like a cute girly day. I don't know how long this vlog's going to be. I don't know whether to carry it on or whether to just have it as like a daily one. But we'll see how long the video is and then I'll decide. All right, we're pretty much ready to go. I just need to get my bag. Put on some lip balm. I can't tell if it's a good heat that's curled out or not. You know what it is? It's these front bits that stress me out. I'm just going to pretend that it's good because it's too early to care. Right. Lip balm. Quickly show my outfit. 
I'm wearing literally 50 shades of grey today. This is what I'm wearing. It's literally a chill event, so we're not going too dressy. You should just jump her jeans. And that is the vibes. Let's go and get in the car. These front bits of hair. They'll sort themselves out later. Right, let's go to London. I don't know how I allow you to dream me this way and still I'd stay. See my days are cold without you. Like you. years of the Garnier Micellar Water. I don't even have the thing with me, but there's like an ice statue of Micellar Water. Yeah, excited for the tour. Bit of an icon around these ends, but we wanted to take a moment to celebrate her 10th birthday and celebrate 10 years of you. Um, hi everyone. Oh my God, look at all the cameras. <laughs> okay. Um, Garnier know how to do one of these events, don't they? This Guys, there's a whole Garnier oh, shop. Like I'm with Bryce, by the way. Hi. Hello. You can literally pick and choose anything you want from the shop. So I've got a little basket yeah. and we're going to make our way around. This is so cool! Can you not see this? I've Everyone's never seen, seen this. It Everyone's got it! What? Is it like the same as the juice and mask? Yeah. Like, same, good. I yeah. I've got the Sony Zephy one uh, and I prefer that. Oh, really? I just don't like how small the screen is. I was going to say, I can't see shit. Hey, it's hey. <laughs> There's also a board in the way so you can't see you anyway. Yeah. But there you go. It's like very wide lens. Oh. Yes. I bought Grace for her first of the Black Street. I'm going to introduce the Blueberry Matcha Light. I love how you've just been introduced to this and now you're like, I need to show everyone. <laughs> Do I need to stir it? Yeah. yeah. I think it's grey though, we need to stir it up. My stuff goes on. That's so strange because it tastes like a blueberry muffin. <laughs> this is milk. It tastes like milk, right? Yeah, it's nice. You can't taste matcha. No. I'm very surprised that you like that. Oh, I like milk, though. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's basically just blueberry milk. I would never have thought that you, that blueberry milk would taste like that. Mm -hmm. right, you know what I mean? Blueberry milk. The event was cute. Yeah, I'm gonna go and make a big girl purchase. As you told me, you've definitely still got it, isn't it? Yeah. She's definitely still got it. I don't know what it is yet. It's something that when I made my first bird girl purchase, I actually wanted to get this. Um, and I've wanted this for so long. And I've been patient because I could have just got like a different version than like you did. Yeah. I was like, no, I'm gonna wait. The shade is so good. <laughs> The shade of your own is up. I wanted it first. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so, to be honest with you, I feel like it's going to make me want to get it as well, but I can't. We can chair. Mm. We're we'll all each of us. We've got a present for you. I wasn't being shady, I was just saying. It's no, a classic. Just, it's a classic. <laughs> it's just for the long run. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Thank you for introducing me to. What do you write out of 10? Seven? <laughs> It's not 10 out of 10. I feel like 8.5. Really? This is coming from Shamu and I love this camera so much. Would you ever start YouTube? Do you know what? I feel like when you see it like this, no offense, it just seems so easy. <laughs> it is, it's not hard, it's just that yeah, it's hard. No, I know that it's a lot. Yeah. We're here. <laughs> I'm scared. Hello. We're in Chanel. She's making purchase. He saved it for himself for like a half year. Oh. Bryce is making I'll get every bag out of the bus. <laughs> to not buy a bag. Like that. That's really oh, yeah. nice. Oh yeah. This is like the original bag that I was going to buy when I first got my mm. Chanel. But in that colour. That's what I came in for. Awesome. But when Amelia has hers, I don't wrist like this. So I think that looks so cute. Yeah, that is cute. But I don't like how you can't have any shoulder. Yeah. It's either crossbody or that. Crossbody. Yeah. I have fully just took this off the display. 
Right. Maybe just check the cardboard because we had a delivery too. Nothing's done. I do have something to show you when I get home. Something? Oh, just something. a little something to show you when I get home. Um, but we're in Gloria Trattoria now. We need some food. It's an Italian restaurant. I have heard of it. Isn't it like a chain? It's, like, yeah, it's, like it's a chain with something. Yeah. Think, is it Pink Mama? I think it is. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think actually, now you say that, I think Indy did say that to me. A special homemade spaghetti. Yeah, this creamy is, triple sauce. This is all pasta. Yeah, I had that before. It's so good. It does sound nice. I'm definitely getting truffle pasta. That's the one that comes in like a cheese wheel. Nice. Yeah. That's what I'm getting. It says per person to be filled directly with the bake order. Right? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait for this. I'm so hungry. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. I'm so Foods here, it came off a cheese wheel, you would have just seen, but that smells delicious. I'm so excited to eat this. It's going to be interesting to see if it's better than Harry's. Mm. Harry's Does that is come in a cheese wheel? No. It comes in like a dish and they sort of like spin it out yeah. of the dish. Oh. So you're saying Harry's is your top pasta? Yeah. For truffle pasta. Mm. Mm. Oh, so nice. Mm -hmm. I made triple pasta at home the other week from with stuff from Home Sense. Did you see the? Did you see the? You know when I, I told you about that that cheese that was a uh, Aldi that was like triple cheese. Yeah, no, I didn't get it. Oh, they didn't sell it anymore. It was only at Christmas, but it's gorgeous. It's what's your favourite food? Is it pasta. Oh, probably yeah. Pasta. I like everyone's is pasta. It has to be pasta, pizza, garlic bread. Mm, I love a chicken pie as well. Mm. I like chicken pie. Good morning guys and happy Wednesday. I'm just taking Cobes to daycare. Um, I didn't film anything yesterday in the end. I don't know what, well I do know why, I just had like a bit of a shitty day to be honest. You know when you're just like in one of them moods where you're just like sad. That was me all day yesterday. I didn't get around to showing you what I bought yesterday. I've also been thinking about that as well like do you want to see what I've bought or do you not care? Because I know like I don't want to come across as bragging or being like look what I bought, like, look what I've got because I don't know it's just like it's really hard to explain but like the times that everyone's going through right now like I don't know if it's the right thing to do to be like look what I got unless you want to see it then I will show you but do you know what I mean I don't want to come across in like any sort of way because that's just not my intention at all and I understand that some people might not want to see or some people wouldn't appreciate seeing because of the situation that other people are in right now do you know what I mean it's a really hard one yeah, I'm not going to ramble on about that too long. Just let me know if you want to see her or if you don't, is what I'm saying. London was really cute. We went home after pasta. I didn't get home till about half eight and then I literally went to bed and watched Love Island. And then yesterday I spent the whole day. I literally got ready to do some work and I was just like, I can't. But today's just not the day that I'm going to do this. So I didn't do anything yesterday except for take the dogs on a walk and we took them to the vets to get their monthly fleas and then they would do their worming tablets as well. And that is literally it. That's all I've been doing be a better day i'm taking copes to daycare i've actually written myself a to-do list on my phone of stuff that i need to get done so i've actually got stuff to like check off to make sure i do it after i take copes to daycare i'm gonna go to asda i really want to bake some mini egg cookies before mini eggs disappear again so i'm gonna do that today probably not until later but the way the reason that keeks ain't going to daycare is because she's in season first of all and second of all i don't know if i want to keep sending her because she doesn't really like it <laughs> She doesn't really like playing with other dogs. She sort of just clings onto Cobes. So what I'm gonna try is I'm gonna try and send her on her own for a day when she's obviously not in season. See how she gets on, because she doesn't play with other dogs. I'm just like, if she doesn't like being there, she doesn't want to play, what is the point of sending her? Do you know what I mean? We could just use that time to train her at home, which is what we're gonna be doing today. Like I said in my last vlog, we're trying to train to not pull on the lead. She's not like really bad at pulling, but she will like tug and we just like stop pulling. So if she doesn't end up going to daycare, we'll just spend like that whole day with her training her. That is the plan for today, but I'm taking Mr. Smith now. The traffic's quite bad, so we love that. We're gonna be five minutes late so far. I feel really hate fever today, I don't know what's going on. Look, it's cloudy and it's March. I shouldn't feel hay fevery. Wait, I'm gonna come around your side. Wait there. He gets so excited when he's here, it's like he actually can't cope. Wait there. Wait there. Bye bye guys. I'm back from Asda. I feel like we haven't done a food shop all in ages, but my camera's only on two bars actually, I just realised. Fuck. And two bars means like three seconds, so we'll do this quick. We got some Fanta fruit twists in the fridge, please. 
These are all for me. Yeah, they are. Zero sugar. These are actually... Mm. I feel like they're the only drink that actually tastes the same. I feel like the more that. I've had them, though, the more it doesn't. Oh, really? Yeah. I feel I like when I first had it, it did, but no. They're still nicer. Stuck to one squash for me. Yeah, love that. Look what else I bought over oh, on. So basically, guys, I've gone off fizzy pop. Not completely like I'm drinking our last lemonade and stuff with my drink. But look, when we go out for food and stuff, I never want a fizzy drink. Oh, you bought a pod? Some yeah. More fruits. It's not going to be that one, though. I is know it? it's not, but it's going to be the uh, normal one. I've got one of these little um, squash things with some of my fruits in. What are you looking for? I just need cheese. I've got one of these, so like, if we go to Nando's or if we go anywhere, just come with me. Yeah, because I have water in there. It's true, actually, it's too fair. Uh, got two packs of wraps. We got some tuna for oak. We got basically, I'm scared to put the dogs on a raw diet because I've heard mostly good things about it, but the few like bad things are actually quite scary. Like, I don't know what to do to be honest. So, instead of that, we're taking them off chicken and beef because they're high allergy things and. We're gonna try them with fish. I did just get the same, no, not Sainsbury's, the Asda Essentials fish. I don't know if there's like a difference between this and the cart, like the actual white fish from Asda. I was staring at both packets. This was £2.50, that was £6. And I was thinking, is there actually a difference for me to be spending? Yeah. So we're gonna try them with this, but let me know your thoughts and feelings on this. Um, or any good places to get cheap white fish. As long as it's it's actually pure fish, like It's just really white, cool. white fish fillets, yeah, but it's it batter fish. It's only fish in there. Yeah, I know, but no. I don't know if that actual fish is good for him. Because I was looking at card, I was looking at Better. that. So we need to do some research, but I just bought that for now rather than buying meat. Oh, it's going to fucking stink like fish. We give them fish dog food. We give them fish, fish. It's just fish. You know what? It's, it's for them. They're far away. It's fine. We also got some. There's no hot and spicy. Oh, what's the chicken? No, so I've got tikka and Mexican. I might have Mexican and a panini for lunch. Oh, no. Mm. That's with Nini as well, by the way. Two packs of half fat cheese. Here you go. Plain flour for our cookies. Got vanilla extract for our cookies. Some chocolate chips. Put in the cookies. And the mini packs of mini eggs are £1.50 for 80 grams. I was like, that seems expensive. And I knew from before, we've, from Sainsbury's, we've got like a big bag for like £3.50 or something. So I didn't get it from Asda, I went to say to to get that and that was sold out. So instead I had to get this, which is eight mini bags for a fiver. Which is still scandalous, but... Sure, scandalous? Yeah. It was £3.75 for the big bag. It's scammy, that is. But it was all gone. Two packs of large eggs. Some milk and... Oh, some water. And that's it. We had the other ingredients and mini eggs. Thing, so I didn't have to get much. I'm gonna put this away and let myself some lunch. Don't need to try to doubt this feeling. Yeah, we could just walk away. Yeah, we could just stay away. The things I love about you are. This might sound so stupid, but I've ordered a microphone. <laughs> And they're like the mini mics. I can do eating videos with Keeks because there's this dog on TikTok. I can't remember his name. It's a golden retriever. And the woman just like feeds him like crunchy food and he eats it into a mic and puts it on TikTok. And I want to do that with Keeks today. I did order a pink mic. It came, didn't work. So I've ordered a new mic. We're going to see if this works. Then we can give Keeks some snacks. <laughs> I've got blueberries. I've got cucumber. I've got carrots. Watermelon. I think that might be it. This is one I've ordered, it's on Amazon. Hopefully this one works because the other one didn't work. Oh, I ordered the two pack, I forgot about that, look. <laughs> How cute. All right, let's see if this works. Hello, testing the microphone. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, testing. Right, moment of truth. Hello, testing the microphone. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, testing. It works. <laughs> right, let's go set this up in the kitchen. This is going to be so cute and funny. I hope this mic doesn't die though, because they haven't been charged yet. I completely forgot to film it, but I'll insert the video now, actually, of Keeks eating.
now she's just eating her lunch. I need to go and pick up Mr. Cobra Smith. The day goes so fast. Like, how is it? Quarter past two already. He's in daycare till three. Obviously the traffic, so let's go pick up Mr. Smith. We've got healthy dinners in this household today. We've got salt and pepper chicken, the oat cooked, firecracker rice, mushrooms. And Oak's got veg on his, love that from him. Get on. Ingredients are out, you ready to make some cookies? Yeah, boy! <laughs> you can learn to appreciate it. Here's how the cookies turned out. They actually look unreal. They've been ready now for probably about 20 minutes, but we just wanted to let them cool down a little bit. So now we're gonna try them. It's time. They are still like soft, like it's actually breaking my hand up. Okay, ready? Yeah. Cheers. That was a good cookie. Mmm. Mmm. They are seriously <laughs> up there with the cookies that I've had. These are the best cookies we've ever made. Holy shit. I'll leave a link to the TikTok we followed in case anyone wants to make them. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Unreal. Oh, so nice. Mm -hmm. I think the only other cookie I've had that's better is that one in Amsterdam. Van mm. Staple. Van Staple, whatever it's called. These are fucking elite. They're good, aren't they? Mm-hmm. What's your team effort as well? Good job. Look. Mm -hmm. Put our rings together. Yep, flower on yours. On what? Your ring. Mm. Got the big bite in me, don't I? No. Ooh. Ooh. What are you gonna do with the other six? <laughs> we still got two more in the fridge that we haven't cut. These are so mm. good. I'm really proud of us. I'm <laughs> really enjoying this. <coughs> After our healthy dinner, this is what we needed. It's that gooey cookie down there. That gooey menu. I'm so proud of us. We did really good with these. 10 10 from us. Mmm. You know what I'm going to say? Look at that. It's on a carrot. It's like a carrot. What's this? <laughs> Is that nice? <laughs> Is that really nice? Do you want some more? I love that she loves a carrot. I hope she's down to give Cobra the natural treat rather than carrots. Cobra wouldn't eat this woody cakes. I don't like how quick she eats and they're like, that's actually like a decent sized carrot. Oh, that was rude. <laughs> Wait. Gentle. Uh, gentle. That's better. Good girl. 